Okay, now we're back in my 2011 here. And we'll just go ahead and re-import re the, uh, the final meshes here for the retopology process. And as you can see, the pants there are... The detail is somewhat there, but I mean, once we add the normal maps and, and everything else and the textures, it'll come out fine. And we'll just import the sweater here. And basically there is our finished mess finished mesh ready for UV mapping. Um, you will need a <coughs> another program to actually do the mapping because I don't do my mapping in Maya. Um, my initial mapping is done with Roadkill for Maya. It's a free 3D application that allows you to do your, your UV mapping and it, it does it very quick and in a real nice way. It's very similar to uh, UV layout or uh, Unrella for Maya and for Max, it, it does an excellent job of uh, UV mapping your meshes. I mean, it gives you a very clean mesh to pretty much lay your textures on top of, which I'll be doing a tight on as well. And as you can see, I'm just going to duplicate the model here to, to show everybody wh what the final mesh looks like in terms of wireframe and, and everything else. And the, the button I'm just pressing there, it's just to freeze my transformations, you know, delete my history and center my pivot all in one press instead of having to do it, you know, individually. It just saves time. And basically, there you go. I mean, there there is our mesh that's ready for UV mapping, rigging, and animation.